this is Miff Smith from Liberty High School and I will go over the lesson 9.3 notes for you. How do outliers affect the least squares regression line? And so number one says go to staplet.com and find the link for correlation and regression. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't like Staplet. Your teacher might like it, but I don't. So I'm going to do this video using Desmos. And here is the link that I'm going to use. Feel free to go to it. It has a, it has a um, regression table set up for you. Um, these are the data points that I'm going to type in right now. So when I click on this link, this page will come up. And all you have to do is come to your table and let's modify these numbers. And we're going to do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I'm going to come back and get the other numbers. So 20, 25, 39, 20, 25, 39, 35, 30, 50. 35, 30. So I just made up some random numbers so that I can get the correlation coefficient to about 0.4. So 35, 35, 31. 35, 35, 31. And then what was that last number? 38. 38. All right, so once we have that done, if you come up here, scroll back up to the top, you see this box already has calculated your correlation coefficient, the slope and the y-intercept of your least squares regression line. Now, if you click this first row where it says mean of x and y, we need that information to help us play around with the data. So I'm just gonna do that drop down and then click this toggle button to turn it on. All right, I'm gonna screenshot. Um, my data right here and then let's drop that into the cami i'm going to insert image don't judge my computer screen guys <laughs> so there we go that's our least squares regression line our correlation coefficient and i'm going to screenshot the mean of the x and y so that we can continue to analyze the rest of this data for the page. Okay, and I'm gonna drop that there to insert image. Perfect, so this is what we're gonna be comparing all of our information to. So my correlation coefficient for this data that I created is 0.4578. My slope is 1.24 and my wireness up is 28.2. Now, for each of the following situations, we're going to add a point to the scatter plot and decide if the slope, wireness up, and correlation will increase. So if a point is added on the far right side of the graph on the horizontal line for the mean of y. So our y value mean is 33.8. And if I want to add a point to the far right side of the graph, then I'm going to choose an x value that's higher than 9 and my y value will be 33.8. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna go to the table and just add another row, and I'll just do 12, 33.8, because that was the mean of the y value. So if I come up here, I wanna compare what's happening to my correlation coefficient, my slope, and my y-intercept. So I see my new correlation coefficient is 0.359 which is smaller than the original one. My slope is 0.76, so my slope has decreased from a 1.24, and my y-intercept is 29.84. So that um, also, um, that actually increased my y-intercept. So let's come back here and let's write that in. So the slope actually, let me do box. Oh no, I need to do text. The slope, come on text box, the slope decreased, the y-intercept increases, and the correlation decreased. And I'm going to tell myself I added the point 
and I forgot what the point was just that fast. Oops. 1233.8 to the graph. All right, so basically I was trying to figure out how will my graph change as I add different points. So question B says, if a point on the far left side of the graph on the horizontal line for the mean of Y. So the far left side would be a small X value with the same Y value for this, the mean of Y. So let's add the point, we'll do 1 comma 33.8 and see what happens. So I'm going back to the Desmos and I'm gonna change this 12 to a one and then see what happens. So come up here to this box. Our R value is 0.42, which is smaller than our original R value, which was 0.45. Our slope is 1.08, so our slope decreased again and our y-intercept is 29.2, and that actually increased. So let's go and capture that. So the slope decreased, the y-intercept increased, and the correlation coefficient decreased. Now, Question C said, if a point is added below the least squares regression line on the vertical line for the mean of X. So let's go up here and see what the mean of X was. It's 4.5. So I'm going to add a different point. Added the point. We're going to choose the mean of X, which is 4.5. And then let's go back to the graph and figure out a point that would be below the regression line before I add that point. So let's erase the last point I put in. And then, uh oh. So we see this is the vertical line for mean, that's 4.5. So anywhere below, here's the 30 mark. So let's just do 4.530 and see what happens. So let me add that to the notes. So I'm going to add 4.5, comma 30 and see what happens to the regression. So 4.5, 30. If we look here, our R value is 0.4529. So that's lower, not much, but it is lower. Um, and look at our slope. Our slope is about the same. Our original slope was 1.24, so that's about 1.24. And then our y-intercept was originally at 28.2-ish, and it's now at 27.8. So the y-intercept um, decreased. So let's add that. So the slope was about the same. The y-intercept decreased. And the correlation coefficient decreased. So question D says, if a point is added above the regression line on the vertical line for the mean of x. So if 30 was below it, let's just bump that up and add it the point 4.5 comma and let's just say 45 and see what happens to my three items. So I'll come back to the table, change that to 45. And now let's compare. So slope is still about the same, about 1.24. The y-intercept was at 28.24, now it's at 29, so it increased. And then the correlation was at, was at 0.45 and is now at 0.41, 0.42, so it decreased as well. So the slope, about the same. The y-intercept decreased and the correlation decreased. So which outliers had the greatest impact on the least squares regression line, the vertical or the horizontal outliers? If you go back and look, we can see that the horizontal outliers did. They have more leverage 
since they are to the left and right of the center of the plot. So go back and play around with some more data points in this Desmos, or if you're more comfortable, you can play around with um, the Staplet version. Um, your teacher will move on and give you some big ideas, and we'll finish out chapter nine with checking your understanding for uh, regression and correlation. Have a great day.